Hi everybody, it's Colin here from Woodthorpe International. Right, I just thought I'd show my first bit of my racking. Um, I've just done the one what goes in front of the living quarters and I'm very pleased with it. Uh, I will just try and rig it up to show you with some containers in. But all I've used is that one, which I've used for these, because what I've done is I've just cut it off because the problem is it's trying to make it to scale and be strong so a millimeter thick as you know is six inch so it couldn't come out too far when you notice there's the slots for the containers to go down um, so I decided that was what I will use for those and then for the walkway and the lift shaft or stairs going up I've used that one for the handrail for safety and the strengthener I've used that and then for the bottom um what the like the foot I've used that and cut one of the uh yeah the bottom say so I've cut that one off so it's a like a, a long L because it didn't have any L in. So and I've used a bit of uh, the handrail for a diagonal for strength and it looks apart that's what you put on roofs you can see the handrail there so when they're walking on that they can't just fall off and there's one at the bottom so they can't get underneath a container what's being dropped and that's the walkway going down there put it back on and there's the steps going up I'm gonna try and just draw a door on there just to show and there's some ladders to go up to get into there um, I just thought that was best way and then I put a, a top on to just make it more rigid so it gives them something to aim at now this one is just a single going across the boat there if I just turn that around, and as I showed on the drawing, this drawing here, there's the walkway with which is represented by that missing one there and the pallet will sit on that and one on the other side all the way down now every one after that will be doubles except for the far end the bow end it'll be a single one but that's my drawing uh, and that's the outcome I'm going to give it a spray this bit just to see what it looks like sprayed up I'm going to do it with like a red oxide what they would have on on board ships uh, certainly for the first coat all steel's got that on but uh, I'm, I'm pleased with that I don't think I could do any better I'll just show you with some containers in even though this one isn't now what I'm going to do is, is put a wider container over the top 
and then the lift, the deck out. Now the deck will come out in smaller pieces. Um, I would assume the deck will come out in strips or doubles so they don't have to take them all off to get it off, but I'm not going to do that. Like I say, I'm going to build this in here, which will have all this kind of rigging on for it to slide down and pathways around the edges for the workers to get to them. Um, so that's how I'm going to do it anyway, is put a bigger one on uh, containers across the top. So I'll just rig it up and show you, and uh, hopefully it'll give you an idea. All right, so this is the Heath Robinson way of doing it. <laughs> uh, you can see that there's the walkway under here. And then there's containers would go across using the guides getting down and as you see the height is just a little bit less for the next one up and now you can see why i want to hire put another couple of floors on because it does want another container at least on top so it needs to go up enough to see over at least one more layer so that's why I'm going to extend the, the living quarters and I have seen some with about seven floors on because they have gyms and all sorts and they'll walk down the back to get to the steps to go up to get onto that platform there and then they strap these down they'll strap the bottom ones down from the ground level onto some rigging and then these to them but the ones above they don't they just sit them on um, so um, what you do find because containers are different sizes uh, they're not exactly all the same within the ship you get a slightly raised bit on one run they're not the same height level right across but i'm i'm over the moon with that give it a spray and see what this looks like sprayed up um but it's not fixed so everything's just not in place like it's just coming out of the top there because it's not fixed up right but i will get that and then there's at least then eight or nine doubles of them to make in another one for the far end, a smaller one. But at least I've got a guide. I mean, I won't have to put the back on because it'll have uh, the guides on the doubles. So what it's like on this side, it'll be like on this side but chuffed as meatballs like I say that's how the people walk down the length of the ship and in between going across so it may be a bit wider the ones in the middle I'm just gonna have to do a bit of research because uh, they do have to get through uh, with all sorts of stuff that's wide enough for working on because it's three foot wide but um, the doubles may be twice the width don't know yet so it gives us an idea anyway doesn't it what it's going to look like so I'll come back to you when I've sprayed it. Right, so that's it sprayed up. Now I'm just gonna weather it up a bit. It's a bit too new, isn't it? But it's all sprayed. 
I was very pleased how straight it uh, generally looked and not twisted at all because when you're gluing plastics and stuff it can twist but that's done okay so I just stuck that on the bottom for me to hold it while I was spraying and I will now get some weathering. I'm going to use some oils to weather it, uh, oil paints, um, and give that a go. Well, that's it uh, in roughly the place. It's not fixed yet because I've got to put the sides on the bow, but at least I know where I'm going with this now, and I'm quite pleased with how I've weathered it um, and with the contrast of the uh, containers and that's showing the walkway again and them f how how good a, you know the fitness for them to slide up and down and the back side of it I've just weathered as well and when you do look down the side of the ship it's as close as it, uh, like I say, it's not actually fixed, but you can see how in line it is with the edge of the ship. So that's how I'm going to do the rest, except for the double ones. Uh, just I use, just as a matter of interest, I use that glue for welding all the plastic together because it slightly melts it and I stuck the bottom of that onto here so I could hold that for spraying and the spray I used was that and that's the number and the actual uh, stuff I used for weathering was this stuff. This is the stuff what was recommended for the uh, double O gauge uh, building that Gemma's using on Stony Hall. And it works really well on the wood. And we said, well, we need to try it on some plastic. So. We've done that and then I've just over sprayed it with some matte clear varnish just to seal it all together. So that's it. And it's really making me, you know, want to do more. It's like a drug is doing this. So thanks very much for watching and uh, I'll keep in touch uh, and let you know different stages as I go along. Bye for now. Bye.